Mary showed me some old photos of her and her family back in Ireland. And our parents died when she was just a teenager, but she's still very close to her aunts and her uncles and all of her cousins back home. Welcome back. We are here with Mary, and I know that one of the great Irish traits is storytelling. Right. So I want to hear all about how you came to America, why you came to America, and of course, we'll do it over tea. Sounds good. <laughs> Milk and sugar for me, is that is that traditional? <laughs> well, yeah, everybody usually takes their milk and sugar. So how how did you decide to leave Ireland and come over to America? Well, my parents had died uh, a couple of years before that. And, uh, now there's your milk and sugar. And uh, economically, Ireland wasn't that good at the time. So um, I decided, my friend was coming out for a couple of weeks, so I decided I'd come with her. Just for a visit? Just for a visit. Oh, really? Yeah. And these are some pictures of you guys back in Ireland? This is when I was a little girl. Aww. Yeah, and that's with, with my you. dad Aww. when I was about three years of age. What, how old were you when your parents passed away? Um, I was 16 when my dad died and 18 when my mom died. And then what did you do when... My <laughs> uncle, this uncle, Uncle Jack, he was very good to me. He took me in. Aww. He was made me one of the family, always did. I come from a big family of uncles and aunts and cousins. So I was one of all of theirs, you know? Right. So How many aunts and uncles did you have? I had um, 12 uncles and aunts. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Now this is my godmother and godfather at my 21st and cousins through yeah. the years. Yeah. You know, my house is full of gifts from all these through the years, sending them over each time somebody came to visit, they brought over this, you know. And your house is full of very traditional Irish artifacts almost. Yes. I'm noticing this. The Irish are not known for having a lot of stuff green out as uh, Kenosha's. Mm -hmm. There's very little green here mm -hmm. around. This is from, I come from County Kilkenny in Ireland. This is Stonewall Jackson. This is from, um, made down there. It's made out of clay. Okay. That's what it's made out of. And then, is this an Irish linen? You yes. hear so much about the That's crochet an Irish linen. and the linens. That's what they call a tray cloth. A tray cloth. Yeah. And then this is a this is She's another a little Colleen traditional doll. doll. A Colleen yeah. doll. Yeah. Why is it called a Colleen doll? Just her name. I think the Irish. There was a lot of Colleens through the years. She looks like a um, upper, and Colleen upper class is Gaelic. Irish. <laughs> Colleen is Gaelic for Irish for girl as well. Oh so, really? Yeah. It means girl. Yeah. Oh. That's nice. And then what about um, the other big, um, the big famous Irish um, Waterford crystal? I right. heard you probably have a couple of pieces, right. I'm guessing. Yes. Do you Plenty want to show me? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'd love to see. A prized possession for many Irish people is Waterford crystal. Mary keeps hers in a display case in her dining room. I have a piece here that's uh, from my godfather from my 21st. This is very special to me. Now, oh, here's a piece you can beautiful. look at. Beautiful. That's oh. a, a vase. I love it. So the, what makes it Waterford is like the etching. The different etching. Yeah. yeah, the different, each one has a different cut right. in the glass. Oh, that's really cool. It's so beautiful. Isn't I love it? it. Yeah. It is nice. It's like the prize of every Irish American's collection. Right. It's funny though, Irish households don't have that much of it because, you know, unless you get it for a gift or something, you know. Oh, oh. that's... My friends are here. Oh, cool. Let's, Let's go, go meet them. them. Come on in. Welcome. Hi, guys. Hello. My friends. Oh, so nice. Mary. Mary. I just brought you some of her stew. Thank Irish you. Stew? This is my friend, Mara. It's great to meet Mary's friends and to see all the traditional Irish dishes they've brought for our feast. Nice to meet you. All right, let's eat. This would be a traditional Irish dinner or supper. Would you call it? There's a both. You have a lighter meal and you have a heavier midday meal there in the stew. And what, what's this? This, this is, is this light This would be a dinner, but it fish. could be an evening meal too. The fish <laughs> would be a lighter meal for evening or summer dish or something, you know. So what is this exactly? This is cod. This is cod. Most people think of Irish Ireland, they think of salmon. But this is what actually most people eat, the cod. It's a white fish. It's very similar to what we get here in the States, but um, the fish all around the coast of Ireland, they all cut cod. And very simply prepared, just like what they normally do now with uh, when battering the fish. You right. normally use eggs here. We used to use milk, okay. milk, a little milk, and then flour, lightly salt and pepper, and light fry, and ready to go. Five minutes ready. 
Delicious. Okay. Well, and Ireland's an island, right. so of course it's lots of seafood. Lots of, and everybody loves seafood. Oh, yeah. yeah. And what is this right here? This is a traditional traditional side dish, more or less. Um, the main staple of the Irish diet was potatoes, of course. So you'd use mashed potatoes or leftover potatoes you have from another meal, and also cabbage, cooked, ca cooked cabbage, and add some butter or some dripping or lard or whatever, and salt and pepper, and just put, all just flavor. make all flavored up together and put it all together. This and is use it as a side dish. This is the typical leftovers put Left together in a hot pot, yeah, or, or, or as, the next as day. a side dish for a main di for, a, for a main meal also. Yeah. Good. And now this looks like a big hearty concoction over there. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Irish stew. Just a little bit of beef and potatoes, carrots, little onion, and simmer for two hours. Two slow, hours. Slow cook. Yeah, this, uh, bit of this piece of meat is a little tougher that they use for the stew, so it was actually stewed for longer, you know, to make it um, a little softer and nicer to eat. Now, are you guys all feeling like you're back home in Ireland, looking yeah. at all this food? Yeah. <laughs> it's hot, but I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we dig in, we have to go back in the kitchen and make we the dessert. Okay. But we then we'll be back. You guys stay here. Okay. 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 You ready, Mary? Uh, we have trifles. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 